Okay, we sandblasted that. I actually put a new edge on here. Uh, I'll go along with the file and smooth it out later. Um, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna paint it with everything together because I don't want the rod. I don't want any paint on the rod right here. So we'll get started on that. First thing I want to do is uh, grab hold of the bolt. I want to get that done, and I'm gonna have to set the camera to, down to do the underside of it. But we'll go ahead and get this done. Really impressed with this uh, Rust-Oleum two times paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this piece up. Then we'll get started on the uh, on the head. Okay, this is the tail stock, and what may look like set screws are actually, these hold the oil. Um, I'm going to get the flip ones. There's one on each side. Another one, the other one came out. So uh, when I pulled those, that oil actually came out of there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, there's a set screw in here. I've loosened the set screw, and now I'm going to tap this this uh, shaft out of here then I'll paint the inside but I'll need both hands for that okay we're back we're gonna do uh, clean up the bearings with uh, some cleaner now I'm blowing them out make sure they no grit in there we're good to go now all you do is basically you're going to pack the bearings with grease. So you want to push the grease into the bearing. So basically if we just keep on pushing it you can get a, a bearing packer for this. I used to have one when I had a I used to have an RV center. We packed a lot of bearings. Pushing it right in there. I'm going to try it the other side. Okay. So you can see on the top edge it's starting to squirt out a little bit. That's about where I want to be. We're just going to go from the top, pushing that grease in. Well, Maddie slammed something on Ralphie's paw. I... And that's about all there is to grease in a bearing. Okay guys, uh, we're back. Everything's been painted, <coughs> been cleaned. So what I want to do is uh, put this back together. And to do that, I cleaned up the, uh, the pulley a little bit. The bearings have been packed and greased. Uh, we had a washer that we said let's not forget where that went it goes in from the small end and I know this isn't going to be fun so let's get started what we're going to do we're going to go uh, we're going to set this right here poke a hole in my felt make sure you guys can see everything okay and the small end is where the the bearing was but now we need to figure out where and which end this was in so all we're going to do we're going to set this up the set screw here and measure it if 
we want it to go back where the set screw was, I think we're open. Well, I think they actually had this in backwards originally. Let me check something here. See which end I want. That ought to get us. Okay, so we're going to start off. So you guys can see we're just going to pound this in I don't want to really damage the ends on this so I'm going to use a rubber mallet okay that's smooth Now this part might, might be, there we go, we're looking good so far. Back it out a little bit. And here's the messy part, and I'm going to grab a glove this time. Is that bearing, let me grab a new glove. I grab an old one. The bearing I packed... And it's greasy. And since I'm a poker dealer by trade, I got my hands pretty dirty the other day. We're going to have this. I want to figure out which side's going where. And no matter what, I'm going to get my hands dirty. where I want it. Brand new paint jobs getting messy guys. Well, let's just start off with this. Get a little pressure on it. There we go. Now I'm just going to back it out a little bit. What we're doing is just have a small space right here. Now we're going to try and get our spacer in. looking good. So now what I want to do is I want to turn this whole thing and I want to get that original hole which has not been used in a long time. I want to get that set in there. Every time you need a tool that's not here I should have set up all my tools I needed in advance. So we know that the set screw, let take this out, boy we were right on the money. I can see the hole in here back in the original. 
and that's where we want the set screw. So I'm just going to center it up. I don't like the way that's wobbling. We're going to go to the other set screw. And we're going to check it. Tighten it down. Spins nice and freely. So we're ready to assemble this thing now. So let's get the uh, oil and grease off my hand. And this should only take a few minutes. So I replaced the set screw in here. I cleaned this up. Looks pretty good. It's stainless steel. And uh, I'm just going to put a different point on it. We cleaned up the tail stock, and under here is actually brass. It was uh, nickel plated, so you can see some of the brass coming through. I used a wire wheel and uh, some some uh, wire mesh to clean that up with. So let's see if we have everything we need to reassemble this. This only fits on the track one way. The tail stock only fits on one way. It'll fit right back nice and easily where it was at. That looks pretty good. Let's see if we got the right one in place. And. Fits on here, fits on here. Here we are correct with our holes. So let's go ahead and start this off. Now the tail stock is a movable piece. It can be adjusted, so you're gonna have two screws in that. This metal piece will slide in and out. So what I want to do is find the nut and bolt for that. This is the one they had for that. We'll go ahead and set our tail stock up. set in place. Make sure our bolts lined up. The washer. Okay, I'm going to hit pause on this while I find a bolt 